What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube? It is Akros Abbas Ibrahim 1, and welcome back to another food review. Now, this one's a little bit different. Um, it's been a while since I've done our food review, it's been quite some time. Um, the past, I would say, year, I've been taking an interest in uh, Japan and the Japanese culture uh, from, uh, you know, their culture, uh, their food, products, just the cities in general. I've been taking a huge interest in Japan. Um, never thought I would, but here we are. Japan is fucking amazing, apparently. <laughs> I have uh, been watching a youtuber called pablo from tokyo i'll leave his link down in the description he does uh, amazing amazing work over there in japan with his wife and little baby boy um I think he's like three but uh, i'll leave his link down in the description below to that channel i'll suggest you go check it out if you have any interest in japanese culture um he does a lot of like day in the life videos of japanese workers um definitely popular spots foods all that stuff everything japan related that's the, he reviews it pretty much so like i said link down in the description for that so i was interested in the types of snacks and not only japan i'm interested in like the uk snacks australian snacks australian why does it sound like that australian snacks like er, snacks from around the world i was interested in um so i decided to hop on to amazon uh sunday the third day before july 4th um i decided to hop on amazon the third and it, the my package came today so it was pretty quick i don't have amazon prime um i found this one 40 japanese candy and snacks at poppin cookin and other popular sweets by sushi candy the sweet t taste of japan it is 24 60 right now um as I'm recording this, uh, with shipping and all that stuff, because I don't have Prime, uh, it was like 30 bucks, something like that. And I had a, uh, I had a 60 dollar gift card for my birthday, um, so the, uh, so I just decided to get on Japan, uh, on Japan, on Amazon. <laughs> I can't talk today. I'm sorry. Like every other day, I decided to get it off of Amazon because that's where I had the money for it. And I don't know what else to buy on Amazon, so I said fuck it and got this. I know you could probably find better websites and stuff like that to, to buy these but i've seen 40 i've seen a couple of the you know products stuff like that that kind of fucking that these kit kats because japan has different kit kat flavors than the u.s this kind of hook got me hook line and sinker but scrolling down a little bit you know i got videos and stuff like that um reviews but they all this is what also intrigued me now this is a snack list i don't think mine came with it <laughs> i wish it did but i don't believe it did unless it's in the pack because i haven't opened the pack yet i opened the the um the bag it came in but i haven't opened the pack yet so with that being said when i opened the you know the amazon bag you know that was those silver gray grayish bags this is what was in it um, this is, like I said, sushi candy down on the bottom. I know it's inverted. Um, but it's just a whole bag of, like, sweets and shit. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I wasn't expecting, uh, like, a bag like this. Um, but it's, it's a nice, it's a nice looking bag. You know, you got the, um, that arch from, I'm not that good at Japan knowledge. You know, you got the arch, whatever. Nagasaki was it? No. Hiroshima? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, <laughs> I also, disclaimer, I do not mean to offend any person of Japanese descent. Uh, any pe people living in Japan, I do not mean to offend. I'm just an American. You know how we Americans are. We don't know our geography for shit. So, <laughs> just saying. This, I'm not trying to be offensive to anyone. I'm not trying to offend anybody of Japanese descent. Uh, this is just a, an American who's never been outside of the U.S. minus Canada when I was like three and the Bahamas and that was about it. So this is just an American trying to learn. I'm trying to learn here. Um, so um, it's an interesting bag looking, uh, interesting looking bag. So we're just going to, without further ado, before I fucking say anything else, we're just going to cut into it real quick. And I did notice that on the bottom... It does say, uh, 
right here. It's hard to read. Oh, there it is. Packed in Japan. Packed in Japan. So that gives me, you know, a little bit of hope. Okay, so first I want to kind of, I want to see if there's that snack list in here because I don't think there is. So, all right. Sorry for the cut. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to fucking pour it out. I was kind of, I was spending like a long time trying to find this supposed snack list and I couldn't find it. And it's, it's, it's not here. So I'm just going to give up. Like I said, not trying to offend nobody. I'm just somebody that's never had anything outside of this caught this automatically caught my eye. You know, the snack list was gonna be able to help me read this type of stuff and tell me what's in it. This is Kyoshin, the, the company Kyoshin. I don't know how to read this. I don't. I don't. How, how do these that? If you can read that, if, if anyone from Japan or knows Japanese, if you know how to read this, please let me know. I need help. <laughs> but, uh, Kyoshin something. It looks, it looks cherry, but it has a chopstick right there. Or not a chopstick. It has a toothpick. Fucking chopstick. Where the fuck did a chopstick come from? It has a toothpick. So it's very interesting. It's like right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one first. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Thunder is rolling outside of my house. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a. It's okay. Does it? Does it have any English on it to, to where I could like possibly? What's the expiration date on this? Oh, it's still good. It's good until May of next year. It's just all Japanese. It's all Japanese. Obviously, I don't know what I expected. But we're gonna go ahead and open this, and it has like a little door type thing here. So we're gonna go. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh god. There we go. Okay, so I would assume you take this. This little chopstick here. Or, god damn it! I'm just gonna fucking stop talking. All right. You take this little toothpick right here, and this is the candy. Right here, doing what all these other fucking review channels do, and it's some sort of cherry thing. It's like it's chewy. Let me see if I can find it on Google. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I have found it. Um, the Kyoshin Cherry Mochi Candy. The sweet cherry flavor is so good, makes your mouth water. Each package comes with a toothpick, so it's easier to pick up these mini mochi treats from their affordable little box to eat them one by one. So cute and yummy at the same time. Okay, well, yummy, I don't know. I have, it's, it gives me a bland taste. It's, it's, it's just, it's really bland. Like, I don't taste cherry at all. I don't know, I'm not a fan, really. I mean... It's not, it's not too terrible, but it really doesn't have the flavor, you know? Okay. So, I'm going to be, I don't know how many of these I'm going to be eating. I'm just going to kind of pick up the ones that look kind of good and go from there. So, I'd probably give that a, I'll give it a, like a, a 5 out of 10. I'll be, I'll be half with it. I mean, there is a taste there, but it's not the best taste okay this 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 one really caught my eye I don't know what this is let me let me go back to a lighter screen because I'm too dark it's dark as hell in my room you know what I can fix this real quick damn it's like I haven't been a fucking youtuber for 10 fucking plus years I didn't know how light works with cameras like who would have known <laughs> anyway so I see this I don't, I don't know what it is and it's all in Japanese, so it's there's no English, and a snack list didn't come with it. I even checked everywhere in the... Oh, okay, so... I think this is like a teriyaki snack. This is, this is what it looks like. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to like this. Uh, 
Ah, no. Nope. I was like, wow, it's actually not too bad, and then, no. I don't know what it is. I held it up to the camera for, for as long as I can. Blah. Okay, so unfortunately I was not able to find what that snack was that I just recently tried. It's down in my garbage can. But I was able to find this next one. It's a uh, Poriki. This is what it looks like. It has a little corn on the cob man right there. Looks pretty cool. It is fucking downpouring outside my house. Anyway, so let's go over to the the guide because there's no fucking guide that it said there was. All right, so <laughs> this is Yokin Yaukin Yaukin Porkery Pretzel Snack Sticks Corn. Uh, savory and hearty bowl of corn pottage soup. Even without cooking, these crunchy pretzel biscuit sticks have a mellow corn flavor that's reminiscent of corn portage. Pottage. God. I made a mistake ordering these. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and open this. Just gonna go ahead and open this. Open this. No. No. When in doubt, open, use a knife. All right, so we got it open. You can tell I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. Oh god. Oh god. This one's coming out. <laughs> like I'm stuck. There we go. Oh. Oh, these actually smell not too bad. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's fucking coming down. So it's it's like a pretzel stick. I don't know how I feel about this one. Cause when I put my head down, it tasted so, it tasted eh, it automatically like corn. Now I don't hate corn, but like corn like that, I don't know. But then it started getting good. Let me let me let me just let me just try. It. Here's the corn, which is nasty. And then it gets like like a graham cracker type taste. I don't know. Shit. This this review is. I thought this review was gonna go a little bit better. But we'll hold this one off to the side because my girlfriend will probably want to eat them. So that was the uh, pretzel snack stick corn. Now this is the one that caught my eye. Where'd it go? That I know I'm just I'm gonna dislike this. Whatever this is, it looks like a fish, and I'm not gonna fucking eat it. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that one. These kind of caught my eye too. These are there's like multiple like these type of candies like they're like flat I don't know what they are <laughs> like the, the other one that I just pulled up all right so I'm just gonna open it and we're just gonna roll with it so if you know if you if any of you know what these are let me know in the comments school me please because I need it okay so it's, it's okay so it's gummy snack or candy and it looks like it's one of those um like stringy oh you can see it on the back, dumbass. God almighty. I, I suck at doing reviews. This uh, this has got to be good. This has got to be like 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, the uh, the the, um, the pretzel sticks, I'll give it a 3 out of 10. Because <laughs> I forgot to rate those. This has got to be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It just tastes like one of those um, those sour strip type candies. It tastes exactly like that. Oh, oh, ten out of ten. Oh, that's so that's better than the sour candies we have. The sour strips, like I think it's Airheads that makes them. Oh my god, these are so good. Okay, so I wasn't able to quite find the one I just had, but I was able to find this one on the website. Now this one is called uh, Sweet and Sour Paper Candy Soda. 
by Yao Kim. Interesting. Sour paper. I don't know. That, but that last one was a 10 out of 10. Got like 20 out of 10. That was the best thing I had. And it was pretty much all, it was pretty much Americanized. I mean, that's all it was. It's the same shit we have in America. It's the same, it was the same snack. But this one's interesting. Paper? Paper candy? I guess, I guess they refer to it. This is what it looks like. It's floppy. That reminds me of an airhead. Mm. Very chewy. And like I said, this is the sweet and sour paper candy soda. Where'd it go? I mean, this tastes like sour. Like, there's really, there's really no taste of this, but it's so chewy. Like, the other one wasn't that chewy. I'll go ahead and save the rest for later. I've been chewing on this for a month. I'm just kidding. I, I just, I just got it down. Sorry, this review's kind of all over the place. This is a very brand new experience for me, so I'm kind of learning with you guys. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. This caught my eye as well. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what any of them are, but this one especially. I don't like. I don't know. Is it like a cook? Oh god. Okay. So opening it, I see that. Is it? Is it one? Oh god! It's one big long spherical cylinder type cheese stick? Don't smell good. It smells like cheese, like very strong. No. Oh. Kinda like a cheese puff. Alright. I'm not a huge fan of cheese puffs myself. But yeah, just tastes like a cheese puff. That's not bad. I mean, like I said, I'm not too heavy on cheese puffs, but if I were to like cheese puffs, I'd give that a 10 out of 10. And the soda one as well, if I didn't already grade that one, 10 out of 10. But um, the cheese puff, if I like cheese puffs, I would give it a 10 out of 10, but that's, I don't know, I'd say, give it a f 6 out of 10. This is interesting too. Japan has interesting shit, that's why I bought it. It's like a mini, it says mini bottle. And I'm assuming it's like lemon. But I don't know if it's like a drink or if it's. Okay, now they're, they're like, like crystals or like fine powdered candy of some sort. Fuck it, it's so bright. I wonder if I minimize this. Oops, minimize this at all. Yeah, a little bit better. Kind of, not really, but there's like that white, this like white powder in it. I don't know if you just, I guess you just pop it off and then. <clears throat> it's pretty much like lemon, uh, I don't even know. Like lemon, like flakes in a way. It just tastes like lemon. This is sour candy. Yeah, pretty good. Give it that a seven out of ten. There's really no flavor to it. It's more soury than anything, and it's not really even sour. But we're gonna do one more because I do want my girlfriend and my best friend to try some of these. I might do a video with my best friend, but I want to try one more. I don't. I want to. I want to find something like. This. That looks. I don't know. Okay, we haven't done chocolate yet. This little guy. Nuts, crunch, choco. So I'm assuming it's just literally a, a chocolate, chocolate peanut 
little little thing. So, like I said, this is gonna be our last one. We had the um, the cheese thing, the lemon flakes. Just just go back in the video and, and just rewatch it. Okay, opening it up. Wow, it has an interesting bottom design. I don't know if that's safe to eat. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Oh, okay, it's like a crunch. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's some good stuff right there. Ten. Ten. This is the best thing I had today. This chocolate. And I prefer sour candies over chocolate, but this. This takes a spot. Holy God. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that, but oh my god. Alright. That's when I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, I might do one with my best friend who's coming down in a week. Um, I might do a video with him. Uh, letting him t taste some of these Japanese candies. Um, I think that would be uh, fun. Fun little video to record. So I'll probably do some with those. Uh, some of these, the rest of these snacks. Are all down here. With him. Um, but... Like I said, I do apologize if this video was kind of all over the place. It was a new experience for me, and I wanted it to be authentic. So, it was a little all over the place. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop that like. Like I said, next week, my boy Big A comes down. You've seen him multiple times on this channel. He's coming down. Uh, we're going to do some videos. Shit like that. It's going to be fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop that like. Catch you guys later. Peace.